Oh, see here. Now it just could be running a quick game of Rogue Tower. It's been a lot better. Fine. See how I do on a triple tap, I guess. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um, don't think it's that important. Yeah, mostly just be going through this and I guess, yeah, discussing decisions. You know, basically doing okay at the minute, thankfully. That was. It's always difficult, I think. Just do that. Always a pain. These ones. Probably a mortar. Yeah. Take the bandit tree, we're gonna need that. Oh, that's a bad roll there. Because yeah, that's going to be awkward. I think sunset towers are a good idea here. One there for now. I'm going to expand this out in the hopes of finding somewhere good to put anything but no real luck there so oh well okay not happy in this defense get both of them i can just because this is lower on things and so i'm going to use the extra slots there on that one uh that do provide some income it's far less obviously than the double slots and um, yeah but i am going to do that because they're not anywhere good for actual the bombs I do think for me actually I'm gonna upgrade the blisters I know I know but also like upgrading blisters isn't right but also I've got a reasonable number of them and it's still really bad what the hell is this okay everyone else needs some upgrades too unfortunately at this point because yeah armor's starting to come through um but I could really use anywhere to put things on these other two I'm going to take flame flamethrowers and yeah, okay. Oh, no sign on. Right, there we go, that was that's a start. That will help thin numbers. Um yeah. Okay, uh go and set mana rank, so I've got some form of mana gen. No, that's not enough. Actually that seems like a start. Or oh, armor that's far too tight in really, but also there's not that many good opportunities. Need mortars. Keep pushing you out. Okay, good. Somewhere good for something. It'll be hard to deal with health. Um, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna use this for armor because yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's not really anywhere good for anything on there. Or armor for Neil. Um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna need uh, upgrade my flamethrowers for flamethrowing. Right then. Right. Okay. One, four, five. Brilliant. No cell there. Do I have enough? Need at least one man, quite clearly, because yeah. Oh, that will do the job for me. Brilliant. There we go. Get me a uh, mana cycle. Right, I'm happy enough with that for now. I'm gonna start pushing all, each of these out as well in the hopes of getting to, uh, yeah. Okay, I need some more mana cycle. Got it. Yeah. Hopefully that's enough to make a useful difference. Need is oh well, yeah, uh, ideally some extra mortars uh, would be very helpful and an extra yeah, you out an extra one. The vampire tower for this side would be great, as would um yeah uh, most armor mortar for each side as well. 
think that's the cheaper of the two. Hmm. Armor. And yeah, I'd love to be leveling these things, but yeah. Cash is tight, so. <laughs> Um, uh, right on mortars. Uh, do, 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 do. I am very not. Yeah, this is feeling dangerous. That's feeling very dangerous, actually. Your going to take the extra rank of banditry, so I've got a little bit more cash to play around with. Still the shortest path, and it's split. Oh no, okay. Well, given that split, I am going to invest in taking a little bit of extra income off these houses along here because it's going to have twice the enemies every other path does now. Um, so, yeah. It is probably worth, given I'm already going to have to most heavily invest in this side, pretty much. Um, not... Uh, I mean, this side could use... Uh, I'm, I'm Vampire Javarain could use somewhere for a good anti shield. I can do anti shield here on that play. Oh, yeah, that will do. But I do want a vampire tower on this side, just so I've got one. And then I'm going to just focus defenses on the one that's split effectively, apart from when I need to put some anti shield work in. And basically just hope that this and this can hold their own for the most part without worrying about it because yeah <laughs> i'm okay i'm it's range of the mortars right okay yes that's a choice that was made okay that might be a real problem um these aren't going to help much but they'll do something probably and put as many levels as I can into that. I'd rather not, but you know, probably the weakest. <laughs> and it's also where, yeah, we didn't pick up any anti any boss killers, which was definitely a mistake. I really should have done. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a real problem. That's not gonna be anywhere near enough, but at least try. Yeah. Yeah, no, like, this isn't going to do it, I don't think. No. It's close, but no. No luck there, unfortunately. Which, yeah. So, this is why you pick up a boss-killing weapon. I should have picked up the particle cannons or the radars when I saw them. I would have been able to afford one, and that would have dealt with the problem. Um... Yeah, as you can see, yeah, uh, vampire layers were not doing that much damage. Yeah, so yeah, and most cost efficient here with the flamethrowers and the mortars, which makes sense, right? But of course, this income was almost exclusively from ballistas, and those three ballistas I put down at the end did very little. They didn't this level. No, yeah, so once again, the flamethrowers and the mortars, which makes sense. They are quite good, actually. Um, yeah. Check how long that... Nine minutes. Okay, cool, yeah, so that's a temporary video. Well, thank you all then, I guess. This system signing out. Hope to catch you all next week. Please do remember to like, subscribe, comment especially if you've got any questions you want answered. 
be happy to answer them either in the comments or in another video. So catch you all next week.